Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. First of all, let me just say, I know this video is a bit late. With COVID and everything, I wasn't really thinking about Halloween costumes because unfortunately I have no plans for this Halloween, but then I remembered I'm a YouTuber and I don't need to have a reason to order a bunch of costumes and try them on for you guys in the name of entertainment. So that is what we're doing today. I ordered a variety of costumes, so some are more on the sexy side and some are just my other personality. Some are like official costumes that come as a costume and some are just bits and pieces of things I pulled together from Amazon to create costumes of my own. So let's see how this works out because I have no idea what's about to happen. <laughs> anyway, without further ado, let's get to trying on Amazon Halloween costumes. Okay, so I'm gonna start this off nice and easy with a very basic outfit. I mean costume. <laughs> it's an outfit to me. I would wear this any day of the week. But it is this little pirate costume. Let me tilt the camera down real quick. So yeah, please ignore the sunlight. I can't really help that. But yeah, so it is this pirate costume. It comes with this belt that for some reason just hangs off the end like that. I don't know, maybe I have like a particularly tiny waist, but I don't think belts are supposed to go that far out. But it's fine because honestly, I prefer the look without a belt. I think it's just cuter, you know? So yeah, here's the first costume. I don't really know how to feel about it because I'm not gonna lie, I think it's really cute. I think it's classy, yet sexy for a pirate costume, but it's also just really, really basic, you know? And that's fine. Like, <laughs> I'm a basic bitch, but I don't know if that's what I would want to be for Halloween because that's what I am year round. But besides the basicness of the costume idea, I think it's really cute. I like how it flows, you know? And also the fit is super comfortable. If you guys are interested in any of these costumes, I will have all the links down below as well as the sizes that I got them in and all of my personal measurements. So hopefully that'll help you guys out. But this fits really well for me. It is a little bit loose around right here, but I like that because, you know, the looser it is, the more I can eat. So yeah. There's the first costume. I just had to get one of the basic ones out of the way. As much as I do love it, I don't think it's very interesting for you guys. I could be wrong if it is. Here you go. But if it's not, maybe this one is more your style. So with this one, what I'm going for is the evil witch in Snow White. I am not gonna lie to you, wearing lashes inside of a mask like this is just not the vibe. But other than the lashes, this is actually pretty comfortable. So a fun little story time actually is that I used to watch Disney princess movies all the time when I was growing up and Snow White scared me the most. Not Snow White herself, but like the witch was like the scariest of all the Disney characters for me I would actually run out of the room into my mom's arms just crying like I could not handle how scary she was so yeah putting this on right now is me conquering a big fear of mine especially because I'm kind of claustrophobic in here but honestly not gonna lie this is kind of a mood like I would so go out on Halloween like this I would just walk by all the little kids in the neighborhood like Mrs. Doubtfire going hello hello you want an apple one moment Oh, an apple. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm done with this. I can't do it. Oh my god, is my lash okay? Wow. It's crazy how once you take one of these masks off, you just have like a new appreciation for breathing and seeing. Well, anyway, if you guys are interested in being the witch from Snow White, or I guess the queen, right? Didn't the queen transform herself into the witch? Well, anyway, if you want to look like a real queen on Halloween... <laughs> This is the costume for you. Aw, oh, dang it. I forgot I also got these for that costume, but they were way too big. <laughs> like, look at that. Do you want an apple? Okay, so hear me out. <laughs> I just wanted to try it. I've always seen these kind of costumes on Halloween, and I've never worn one like this. <laughs> Cute, huh? <laughs> this is honestly the sexiest costume out of all of them. You can make so many innuendos with this one. Like, mmm, do you like my buns? Do you wanna just put your meat right in my buns? Yeah, you wanna just lather me up and down in ketchup? Mm, mm, mm. Okay, no, but in all seriousness, I mean, it's a good costume. If you wanna be a hot dog, or, <laughs> hold on, hot dogs or legs? 
<laughs> bet you couldn't tell okay actually I'm getting cringy at this point but yeah no I feel like if you want to go in one of these costumes like this is a pretty good option for it minus like the crinkling in the back I'm just like not a fan of the fact that my face doesn't fit through the hole like it does but like I'm tilting my head back really far for it to be able to like the top of my head is right here so I don't know if this is just misaligned but whatever it's cute okay what do we think so i'm not gonna lie for this one i just wanted to feel german for those of you who don't know i am half german i have half my family in germany and the only other time i wore an outfit like this was in germany in one of the stores when oktoberfest was coming up i'll try to insert a little clip of it right here but i just felt so cute in it that i just wanted to try out this costume i believe that this one was the most expensive out of all of them but like girl this is quite a super heist also please Please try to ignore these tags they hang right here this is actually a sash of some sort I don't want to fully unpack this one just because you know I've got no plans this year and this is the most expensive one so I'm probably gonna be returning this one but I just love it it's so cute I would actually totally wear this for Halloween I would actually wear this to Starbucks who am I kidding show up to Trader Joe's like guten tag haben sie sauerkraut I like to wear this all day but we must move on okay so this next one is for my ladies who want to look like a dang snack on Halloween but you're also one of those people who feels like everyone just constantly keeps trying to push your freaking buttons that's right yes you are saying this correctly i am a vending machine honestly i feel like this is low-key like a childhood dream of mine to just be a vending machine like you would never run out of candy which by the way is such a concept for halloween like i feel like this costume is perfect because you can just totally go as a vending machine and if you wear like a sweatshirt in here in your pockets you can have a bunch of candy and tell people to like press your buttons and then you hand them candy like how cute is that i would totally do that this is such a mood oh god okay so this next one is one that i put together and if any of you guys watch gossip girl serena vanderwoodson is one third of my spirit animal chuck bass is another third and blair waldorf is the third third i freaking love gossip girl and since i look the most like serena here we are so yeah like i said i made this one myself i ordered all three pieces separately on amazon the skirt and the tie don't really match but close enough so this is what we're going with okay wait wait award-winning moment right here serena just tell me what's going on I can't. Come on, girl, just say what's on your mind. Honestly, Serena's communication is the one part about her that I cannot stand. But despite some of Serena's flaws, you cannot deny that girl has a solid fashion sense. And I mean, even though her school uniform isn't her fashion sense, you gotta give it to her. She works with what she's given. I am really feeling this. Honestly, if I was going trick-or-treating this year, I would wear this. Just walking down the street laughing like Serena. <laughs> Okay, this one doesn't really have an explanation. I just saw it. I liked it. I wanted it. I got it. I mean, I don't know if you guys can relate, but with everything going on in the world right now, it just kind of makes me want to hop on over to another planet. So yeah, um, inspired by 2020. The only thing though is that it didn't come with a helmet, so I had to get one separately. And the only spacesuit helmets they were selling were for kids. So um, this is what we're working with. I have never in my life felt more like a sexy space Lance Armstrong and I am here for it. Like boys, if your girl showed up in this costume, would you not just love her to the moon and back? Or would you just stay on the moon? Okay, but in all seriousness, this is giving me such 2019 Tahoe vibes. I don't know if you guys saw the vlogs or my photo, but I wore something pretty similar in Tahoe when we went snowmobiling and um, She's back, baby. Okay, I can't do this anymore. I'm actually sweating so bad. Okay, so this next one I put together myself as well. When I was growing up, Scooby-Doo was the shit. It still is, let's be real. And I know that I look the most like Daphne, so I wanted to be Daphne, but everything relating to her was sold out. So I'm showing up as the brains of the operation. <laughs> I can't. Okay, oh, hold on. Okay, let's be real though. Everyone knows that Velma was actually like the freak of the group. Okay, apparently Velma was 15. So let's not say that. Let's just say this is the grown-up Velma. Although this skirt is a little long. Ugh. 
Jinkies. Oh my god, have you guys seen Young and Hungry? Do you remember when Gabby dressed up like this to prove that she could get a date without looking hot? Wait a minute. I should have gone as that, honestly. Oh my god, wait, before I take this off, I'm gonna try to recreate that scene. I totally forgot how it goes, but basically she's just like, yeah, well, would you still want a second date with me if you knew that I looked like this? Well, what if I told you I look like this? <laughs> okay, we have one more outfit, and thank goodness because I'm getting really tired. <laughs> Honestly, this could be a costume in itself. Just gotta stand there like this all night. Um, so this is also one that I created myself. Yes, obviously the wig and the little bow is meant to look like Sia, but I bought this little dress on its own, and there was just this little story about, you know, when she was first famous and she was talking about how much she loved her disguise because she was able to, for example, go into Target and buy a hose and no one would recognize her. So this is my costume. Yes, I bought a hose. It actually comes with everything too, like something to hold it onto your house with and a little spray nozzle. So if you're in the market for a hose, I, I really do recommend this one. I mean, it seems like good quality. But yeah, anyway, um, this is my costume idea to go as Sia shopping for a hose in Target. I mean, is there anything more iconic? I think not. Get it? Not. My boyfriend says I make the worst dad jokes. Well, anyway, um, that was the last costume of this haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video because I have no clue how it's gonna turn out. It was kind of one big mess. Well, anyway, if you guys did enjoy it, you know where that like button is. You know where that subscribe button is. I'm not saying you have to, but it helps out my channel and it makes me happy, so. I love you. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are. I'll see you in the next video. And now I'm just gonna swing. A potato flew around my room.